Hello, let's talk about max max damage builds and why they are good and sometimes why they are not that good. So the main idea is that critical rate is affected by the enemy level while maximize damage builds are not. So if you have like 25 maximize damage chance, you always gonna have 25 and it doesn't matter on the map level. But the downside is that it's really hard to get maximize damage chance. There are not that many sources, that's one thing. Another thing is that maximize damage scales early really good, but it kind of falls off later into the game. And the main reason is that when you do maximize damage, you can't do critical. But when you do critical damage, you can also do maximized. And that boils down to your link rune choices that you need to use on maximize damage builds. So right now it's really popular for the critical builds to roll on the charms, chance to deal that maximize damage. And this legendary roll is really good for critical builds because it gives you also dub double damage and triple damage. So I have 8%, as you can see, I'm gonna open my stats up and I have 8.3% to deal triple maximized damage and I'm also doing critical damage. So I wanted to, to start with that one so you guys would know that double maximized damage is good but you can't do critical with that. But when you do critical, you can do maximize damage. So that out of the way, let's get into the maximize damage approach basically. So this is how the skill bot should look like. I picked up any skill, it doesn't matter. What matters is the link rune. So basically, you want to have persistences on both your skills. This is the main damage you're gonna get. It disables crit critical hits. Same on Zodiacs, don't pick up critical Zodiacs anymore, just pick up maximize damage once, or, ma or maximize chance once. So, persistence 100%, always have persistence. And early into the game, for both of your skills, you want to use smash. Smash is really strong, even going later into the game, have this one. This is basically the main one that you want to have, together with persistences. Another one you can use is Maximize Damage Increase, but remember that right now there are more sources to get Maximize Damage than it was like on Season 1. It's gonna fall off really quick because it doesn't give that much Maximized. It still gives some Strike Damage Amplification, but I think you will be able to find better ones, so keep, keep eyes on those. If you have like really low Maximize Damage, this is gonna be really good, but otherwise... Just choose whatever gives you the more more damage. There is another one, increase maximize damage chance. The problem is with this one, it only gives you double maximize. If it give you triple maximized also, it would be so much better. But look look for it. Depending on your stats, this could be still a good damage increase. Especially there is awakening for triple damage. It's not a bad one, but you really need to be careful with those. The most important one is actually seal of persistence. This one gives you triple triple maximize and double maximize. Use this 100% all the time. Don't switch for anything else. Attack enhance is persistence strike. This is not a bad one too. It gives you triple maximize and it gives you shit ons of uh, double maximize chance. Use this one. <coughs> for the seals, I still added some of the condensed elements and condensed destruction. Depending on what your stats are, this could be still good. But yeah, basically this is the main idea on the skill board that you want to do. So itemization for the maximize builds, the main difference from the critical ones is that right now you are looking for the lowest critical base you can get. Because the lowest critical base on the weapon is gonna give you the highest attack damage base on it. So this is the main idea basically. On the rolls themselves, you want to focus on two right now. Weapon Attack Damage Multiplier and Maximize Damage. Those two are the most important ones right now. As you don't benefit from crit, this is what you want to roll. Then Fizz Damage Multipliers, Flat Fizz, Weapon Damage Flat, Weapon Speed. For the Necklace, you're looking for the Implicit 
multi-plan necklace. I'm showing you a physical build, but if you're doing elemental, you're looking for elemental one. On the neck itself, you just roll whatever you can. There is not that many, many choices you can do, just more damage on it. On the rings, the same thing. Instead of looking for critical ones, we are looking for elemental damage multipliers. If you do physical build, you can pick up the flat one. On the ring itself, the biggest difference is that you want to get chance to deal double damage maximize on hit. This is the most important one. I still picked up critical damage, but this has to do with crafting, not with enchanting. And I'm gonna show you right after this. And of course, attack speed, physical damage, everything is the same. The main idea that you want to get as much double maximize or triple da dam or triple maximize damage on your items instead of going for crit. So why did I pick up that critical damage? The funny thing is that with uh, maximize damage builds, you kind of want to pick up as much damage amplification as you can. Yeah, I forgot to roll it. But yeah, this is how it looks like, right? The ring, critical damage. As you can see, you can roll it into damage amplification. And because you can't get maximized damage on your ring, only on your weapon, this is the way to do it. You still can roll critical damage and, re and recraft it into physical or elemental damage amplification. Because this is going to be the biggest source of damage you can get. For charms, you're looking for something like this. This is basically a perfect one besides the legendary roll. So it's chance to deal double maximize, damage multiplier. You can get two hand or one hand or dual wielding depending on your on your build and then maximize damage. This is basically the the perfect charm. On the legendary prefix, you want to get maximize damage on hit. This is the best one and then strength damage amplification. One or the other. Those two are gonna work for maximize damage builds. This is all I have to say about maximize damage builds. I hope you're having fun riding. GG's and have a nice day. See you on the next one.